Welcome to Good Mythical More. I don't remember what we're doing, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. We're gonna be talking about things around the world that you can do that seem awesome, but some of them are free. What? But first, we're gonna list them all. Ways to say what? Huh? What's that? Come again? Uh, repeat yourself? Say what? I didn't hear you. Excuse me? C can you say everything you said a second time? Pardon me? Uh, speak up. Uh, I don't have another one. I me neither. I, I think that's it. We just cool. covered it. We exhausted. exhausted the list. Exhausted Yay! list. And uh, I, I ran out of here to, to, to put this on and the first thing I did was take off my pants and then I took off my shirt and then I realized that the skirt stops well above my yeah, crotch. Right, yeah, yeah. So I was just in the bathroom staring at myself yeah. in a cheerleading outfit with my like Winnie the Poohing. Right. Well, I had on underwear. I mean, that's a. And then I, so I put on some festive, some pants that go with it. And this is a, this, this was high school. And, and, back, and back in the day, they were doing some short skirts back in the day in Burbank. I'm telling. Couldn't get away with that in Andrew, North Carolina, but out here in Burbank, I'll tell you. Go! Go Bears! Go Craig! Bulldogs. <laughs> Yeah. Go Bulldogs! Yeah. It's like very obvious what the mascot is. <laughs> Go Bears. You also probably pass by that high school pretty often. We can um, do wait. it. We can what do it. Chase? Let's just put our crotch into oh, it. Oh, they're rivals are the Bears. So you really messed up on that the one. The Bears are from what? Burroughs, yes. I take it all back! Did anybody anybody go to Burbank High in here? Missed opportunity. Uh, Chase went to school That's in right. Sherman Oaks That's with okay. JoJo Shake Siwa. It Shake it off. That's all right. Is That's that true? Okay. No, I think she's Shake like 18. <laughs> but he did go to school in yeah. Sherman Oaks. Yeah. Where'd you go to Notre Dame? Yeah. Huh. He used to live over there next to JoJo. More like Notre okay. Lame. <laughs> oh, oh. I am going to uh, tell you about an activity. And you're gonna have to guess if you can do that activity for free or if you have to pay to do that activity. Yay, let's go! The first one is digging for dinosaurs in Alberta, Canada. Digging for dinosaurs. Well, oh man, if you find one, it gets, it gets dicey. I mm. mean, anybody could just go and start digging, but when you find one? I think, I think, I think there's places where if you find it, it's yours. I think the digging is free. It is free. Yeah. Cool. Alberta's Dinosaur Provincial Park charges no admission fee and allows visitors to explore real dinosaur digs. Guests are allowed to participate in a dig, and some have even found dinosaur bones themselves. Some have. So, some so all have. the good stuff's been taken. You might find a little shard. Well, you know, I showed you that fossil that I brought back from my solo camping trip, mm -hmm. whenever that was. Um, and that was a this place that had all these different fossils, and it was totally free. And like, there's so many you end up finding them. They're not dinosaurs. They might be like a little trilobite, but there's you don't have to pay anything. You just got to find the rock and put it in your van. Yeah, you maybe maybe you, you do have, have to be driving there. a van though, right? If you'd like to spend the day in Dubai, hit up the world's largest VR adventure park. No, they got to listen. VR they got to pay adventure park. They got to pay for all that stuff in yeah, Dubai. Yeah, I don't know how you could that could be free. Ain't nothing free in Dubai. Yeah, it's uh it's not free. Um but you get to experience the entire park in VR where even the smells and temperatures are designed to be a part of your VR experience. Smells? Yeah. Um, and, and let me That's read cool. if there's some other stuff I want to say about it. Oh, um, too late. This, this part I'll, I'll just keep in my mind. Um, no. oh, it's, uh, it's starting packages around $55 US. Not bad. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, you got a little $55 fun in Dubai. Listen, from a VR park in Dubai to riding the Staten Island Ferry... If you have a hankering for visiting like the lovely that. Staten Island, can you take a round like trip a ferry from Manhattan for free? Well, I've Get done that. this and I can't remember if I paid for it or not. Get that fuzzy cheerleader. 
Is Go! It, is it just straight up public transpo at this point? Oh, I didn't hear any of that. I was thinking about my armpits. I think you can do it for free. I, like I said, I've done it, but I, I don't know if I paid for it, but I, I think you can do it for free. I, th I think it's worth paying for. It's for free. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird, right? It, it, yeah, no, it's like a bridge. You, could, you don't have to pay to cross a bridge, but somebody had to pay for it. Uh, well, what about but a toll it takes bridge? Twenty five minutes. But and, lots of bridges you don't. And you have to get cross. to see the Statue Pay. of Liberty yeah. and. You don't have to stuff. cross any. Uh, you don't have to pay to cross any bridges in 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 Man going to Manhattan, do you? I have a weird Staten Island ferry story. Um, how weird? In eighth grade, that's how weird it is. It starts with in eighth grade. Okay. Um, we went on a class trip to New York City, which sounds awesome, but I will say we were downgraded from going internationally somewhere. But it's fine. We huh. went to New York City. And had to eat kosher food, but it's fine. Um, oh, we like were on the Staten Island ferry, and we saw none other than none other than Jason Biggs on the ferry. Um, hmm. It was exciting, and uh, we asked to take a photo with him, and he said no. So then my Torah teacher had a private conversation with him. And then he did take a photo with us. Uh, so it was a forced photo. Wow. I don't know if she Do you still some have that photo? Verses or what happened. She got I big up, big up on Jason Biggs. Like Jason who wants Biggs. to be forced into taking a photo? But I mean, but know? to resist a what second. What did she time. say, man? What did she say? It was man? a private conversation. I don't know. Right. Um, Listen, Mr. Biggs. Mr. B. These young ladies are on a trip. They were going to go international, but now they're here in New York City and they're very disappointed. And you have been the highlight of their trip so far. And you have refused to take a photograph with them. I like now, that you said young ladies, because, you know, at the time it was like American Pie was the was the thing. I think maybe oh. actively young ladies were trying to get away from Jason Biggs, yeah. perhaps. So I haven't seen your film. But my little girls here love it. <laughs> Jason Biggs. Uh, Hold on, Link didn't get that last one. Fingies is giving yeah. him points. I didn't get it. Oh. Penguin Sanctuary. <laughs> At the Boulder Beach Penguin Sanctuary in Cape Town, Africa, you have the chance to interact and swim with wild penguins. Is it free? Where what is does it cost this? Money? Alberta? Cape Town. Cape Town, Africa. Oh. Alberta was the dinosaur bones. You can swim with penguins. In South Africa? Yeah. It's a sanctuary? Hmm. Yeah. Boulder you... Beach Penguin Sanctuary. I think this is free. Boulder Beach? <laughs> yes. I, I think this is free. I think you gotta pay for it. It's free. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's the only remaining home, one of the only remaining homes to the rare African penguin. And they allow visitors to get up close and personal with over 2,000 uh, of these endangered penguins that typically live in Arctic climates. So they're endangered and you can just hop in and swim with them for free? Yeah, you can't catch them if you tried. I mean, you gotta have some sort of filter so that you don't have ne'er-do-wells in there with the penguins doing stuff. They're endangered, they're freaking endangered. Anybody who wants to show up, you don't have to pay a, a, a dime, a thin cent, you can just swim with them I don't know. I just don't think you Seems can catch sus. a. You, I just don't think you can catch a penguin. And then if I do, I think if you get your hands on a penguin, yeah, but you got. I these, think it slips out. You got these. It's like a watermelon with oil on it. Yeah, you, you ever done that? No, but humans who aren't willing to pay for anything, what are they going to do in the in the penguin waters? What are they going to do to the environment of the penguins? Right, and especially if they're after penguin meat. Is that what you're saying? No, you keep. I'm saying even if they're not touching the penguins, what are they doing to the penguin environment? Urinating in it. In, in the least. But it's an ocean. I didn't pay for this. I can pee in this. It's what, I mean, there's a correlation. If everyone who lived on the coast urinated and defecated into the ocean, would it be okay? Mm, I think that already happens. What do you mean? Like our waste goes into the ocean? No, everybody who swims in the ocean pees and poops in it. <laughs> if everyone who was within a two mile distance of every coast never 
use the bathroom anywhere except the ocean. Even if they had to like poop in a bucket, they, at the end of the day, they would take their poop bucket, they would go to the ocean, they would toss it in. Would the beaches just be an absolute crap show? Is that what would be happening? I or think, does it I recycle think, itself? Yeah, I, no, I think I think, I think it'd so. be a bad scene. I think the beach would kind of, yeah, not be a place that I wouldn't go. Well, we need to get a, just a small swath of beach somewhere. We gotta Poop pick a beach. state. How about South Carolina? Yeah. South Carolina, we're coming for you. We're doing our poop experiment over the next 12 years. Any volunteers? Um, uh, no. Uh, frozen Spa. A, how much does it cost to visit a three-story frozen spa and bar floating in the middle of a frozen Canadian river? So this is like one of those deals where it's a frozen river. He just set it on top. It's not actually floating. They do this in uh, like Iceland or Greenland, right? They've got the seasonal hotel, this the ice hotel. So I guess they're trying to get in on that Canada and making it three stories. Look at you Canadians. Yeah, but how do they make money? Uh, so this doesn't include like buying drinks. This is like admission. They sell cold drinks. <laughs> um, it's a three story bar. I think. They serve drinks, yeah. I think, uh, well, that's a good question. Do you get, do you have to pay for things inside? I think you have to pay to, to admit yourself to this. But think about how hard it would be to convince yourself to go into an ice sculpture in the middle of a river somewhere. You've already like paid a certain price just to get there. I, I, I think it, that the cover charge, there's no cover charge, and that's why I'm saying I'm saying free. there's a very meager admission. It is not free. It's called Bota Bota, and it's in Montreal. And if you're willing to spend some cash to spend a day getting pampered while floating on a frozen river, you yeah. can. Uh, since this is a spa, since this is a spa. But you can't float wow, on a frozen great. river. Prices depend on the service you're looking to get, but a massage will set you back between 110 and 150. You know what? It's not that bad for a frozen massage. Yeah, but think about that. Like, one of the worst things when you're getting a massage is if the place is too cold. cold. Yeah. And they put the oil on you, and then you're like, this isn't fun anymore. That's what yeah. I'd be thinking the whole time. This well, isn't we won't fun be anymore. going. To but that you're floating spot. on a frozen river, right, man. Right. Um, we've got a walking tour of Dubrovnik. Thank you. Dubrovnik? Croatia. To Croatia? Visit some games of Game of Thrones most iconic filming spots. First of all, I see pictures Walking of Croatia tour. and it just looks beautiful. I mean, have you seen the Croatian like beach? Uh, it's beautiful. What if everyone pooped Not specifically. in the Croatian sea? We wouldn't do that to I Croatia. I think it would ruin the beauty. Too, be too beautiful. I think too eventually, be I do beautiful. think eventually it would filter itself out and there's probably a lot of fish that would like poop. Oh, Chase knows Chase about knows Burbank. Chase, and Chase been poop fish. feeding fish. Well, eating he, poop. you know what? He took marine biology at Notre Dame High School. He's a he's a scuba diver, man. He's out there just you put. Have you pooped while scuba diving? No, but it's a common thing that dive boats will tell you to do. Like they're like the the head is for emergencies. If you want to take a poop, just say you're checking the propellers. Make sure the propellers are actually off, and go do your business. Because you don't want to stink up a boat with poop. Exactly. And then you want to put have it in the to ocean. Look for while you're diving. Yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, I found a brown trout right out here in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I found a finless brown trout. <laughs> Nasty man. So are you paying to take a walking tour? No, you can do this. You just gotta know where you're going. Where you're going. You can pay to get it, but a, gu a guided one you're paying for. It, but a self-guided, free. It's free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's mm. free. I don't want to say anything else about it. I want to I'm talk about gift cards. Um, the bottom. We have mythical store gift cards that are just available to... for purchase at mythical.com. If you know anybody um, who, who would be interested in a mythical store gift card this holiday season, then go to mythical.com and get it for them. It's a gift card for stuff at mythical.com. Let them choose what they want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't force it on them. Gift cards, it's but the it, future. But it's not free. It's not you like know, a walking tour in Croatia. Speaking of poop, Cassie posted this photo to her Instagram story. Oh, people are going, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh no, I saw it. You saw it. Yeah. And it was Ringo had pooped, had chosen to poop on a, like a 
in a big, long, grassy, uh, what would you call a that? A pedestal. A poof? A poop pedestal. Yeah. And but it, and it was like a close-up photo, and I was like, oh, what the heck? And she was like, let me tell you about the messages I've been getting today about this Instagram story. What? Everyone loves it. Everyone's interacting with it, and they're, you know, they have their own it. stories to share. Like, what, what are people saying about it? Uh, shared experiences of their dogs also choosing to poop on the middle of a plant, I suppose. Okay. It was um, graphic, though. Yeah. Like, it was a choice. It was juicy. Especially with these, oh, these, everyone's high, going, these high oh, res oh, cameras oh, yeah. these days. I will say, she does have some, like, very great Instagram story uh choices in, in general. She does make some good choices. Not that one, though. Sumo wrestling. If you had a hankering to check out a real sumo wrestling practice session and catch a couple of matches at a sumo wrestling studio in Tokyo, would you have to pay for the experience or could you walk right in free of charge? That's good mythical more, so I'm not going to respond to the city that you just named. What? Uh, you, you said you can, it's a class? Or no, it's, it's an the, exhibition? It's, the, it's when they practice. So the professionals are practicing oh, oh, in like a oh. big arena. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Locke and I were actually gonna go do this when we were gonna go to Tokyo, and then we didn't end up going to Tokyo because of the pandemic. I've get, I don't remember if we were gonna pay for it. I would not go because I had a traumatic experience with a sumo wrestler right over there. <laughs> and I, I'm keeping my distance. I think you can go for free. Yeah, it says you can go for free, but I too remember this when I was there and looking into it and felt like that might not be the case. It was a little bit more difficult than than one would think. Hmm. You, Everything's a little bit more difficult than one would oh, think. You got that you got that including dental the, patient uh, finger? Trains. Did you want to go see Sumo? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it was on like a very long list of other things that I also wanted to do. And I really mean it. Like there's some things that are just kind of overwhelming to figure out you and you just find everything. yourself going like eh, I just want to sit down. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I have I can balanced a a dental patient's finger <laughs> on top of this paddle. Yeah, I can see that. And you know what? You're seeing it for free. You didn't pay a dime for that. You didn't pay a thin cent. You, you didn't don't pay, pay a, a wooden nickel. You, 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 we, this show's been going for almost 10 years. You ain't paid a dime for it. Not sure what to gift a loved one this year? Get him a mythical gift card at mythical.com.